been clear that you've been clamping down on corruption. In fact, former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamed, the founder of Modern Malaysia, is under investigation. What do you suspect him of having committed? Well, let the authorities, Anti-Corruption Commission, which is grossly independent, proceed with their case. Um, I, I don't... He is... He has not been charged? No, he has not been charged. So... And the, the investigations initial, I mean, there were investigations of his children, which amassed, uh, you know, abundant wealth, and I think they have to explain. And I, and I think they have given... Uh, they have been extremely kind in the sense of extending um, time for them to submit their reports. Some say that your government chooses who to prosecute and who to exonerate when it comes to corruption. Your response? We see the country has been used to a system which is semi-authoritarian or somewhat dictatorial. So they assume that under Anwar, I have to do the same. I don't. The Anti-Corruption Commission is independent. So is the judiciary, which is widely regarded now under the lady chief judge, fiercely independent. I have not once mentioned to her about any case. Of course, I did inquire what's happening, what is required, how do, because she was keen on having, uh, setting up an academy for training for judges, but not beyond that. So for the Anti-Corruption Commission to proceed, and in my members of the cabinet, some of them here, uh, it's clear on the fact that I mentioned on various occasions that please make sure that this government affect real reform and you amass wealth and uh, deemed to be corrupt, I'm not here to defend. And all the coalition partners have agreed. Let us move on from there.